Well, Virgo, firstly, welcome to Melbourne. Cheers. Uh, you, uh, you joined us back in, or officially signed with us back in July. What was it um, about the club that really made, that really stood out for you? I think it was the, the vision that was sold by, by Goody um, and Josh Marnie. Um, I was really excited about where the list is at, the potential for growth um, within the list. Uh, obviously the location of the club is, is fantastic, so it was, uh, yeah, it was a whole combination of things, but I'm, uh, I'm really excited to get started. And you have been in and out of the club, even though you haven't officially started just yet. How are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's great. The, um, I think it's probably fair to say that the, the team was uh, a little disappointed with how, how everything went last year. So uh, the players have been in really early and, and working really hard. The coaches are really enthusiastic about uh, what we can achieve this year. And I reckon, um, you know, I'm seeing a real positive sign early. So uh, I've, I haven't actually officially started, but I've been here for about six weeks and, and really enjoying it. And the players have been uh, working quite hard, you just mentioned as well. How much of a focus was that for you coming in? Yeah, I think it was to, to build on the, on the good work that had been done by Dave Misson before me and, and to, to give them a slightly different off-season program and, and just one that'll prepare them really well for the, the type of pre-season that's coming their way. So uh, it's a little bit different to what they've done in the past, but um, hopefully it prepares them really well for the pre-season. So that was a really big focus for me to get in, get to know the players, get to know their individual traits and, and rely on the staff that are already here to, to help me out with that. And what do those programs really look like? Does it involve a lot of running and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, a lot of running. Um, uh, a lot of running. So running wherever they are in the world in their holidays, they can, there's no excuse for them. So um, a lot of running and a lot of strength work as well. I think sometimes players can you know, jump on a treadmill for 20 or 30 minutes and think that that's enough, whereas we've been a bit more specific and uh, a lot of strength work, a lot of footy work, um, as well as obviously a lot of running. And you do bring a wealth of knowledge, uh, given that you have worked at Port Adelaide and Arsenal Football Club as well. How do you think that will really, um, what, what do you think that will bring to your role in your time at Melbourne? Um, hopefully it's a different perspective because I've not just been in the AFL. Um, hopefully that gives a, a, a little bit um, more of a broader perspective on how to work with players, not just on their fitness, but just on being better people and, and, and just on their lifestyle outside of footy as well. So I've been lucky enough to work at some, some good places and, and, and that doesn't just expose you to what's happening at that club, but also at places like Arsenal and Liverpool, a lot of people you get to interact with. Um, so hopefully it just brings a, a slightly different perspective, not necessarily better or worse, but just a bit different. Mm -hmm. And just uh, given that experience and your, um, I suppose, the amount of athletes that you have come, come across, do you really see that potential and talent within this group? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, it's hard for me to say because it is early days, but everybody else that I've spoken to within and outside of the club have, have all said that there's, there's a lot of potential here. Potential is one thing, but realising it is another, and, and hopefully I can, I can play some sort of part in that. And we are edging just that little bit closer to that pre-season return date. What do you really expect from the boys when they do roll back in? I think it's no secret teams like Brisbane last year um, have sort of suggested that the, the, the state that the players have come back in really allowed them to, to make the most of pre-season. Uh, we're a little bit lucky in that we'll have a little bit longer pre-season than, than some of the other clubs that, that made finals, so that's the only benefit really of not making finals. But I really want the players to come back in a, in a great shape so that we can start using the footies from the first day. So that's what I'm looking forward to mostly, seeing how they come back and how they've responded to the program. Great, we're well, looking forward to a big 2020 and welcome again. Cheers, thanks Caitlin.